Samsung has two brand new flagship devices that it's unveiling today, the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the Galaxy S6 Edge. Now, the difference here is the S6 Edge has a curved edge on either side of the display, while the S6 has a standard flat top screen surface. But both share a brand new design language for Samsung that does away with plastic and replaces it with both metal and glass, and both share very powerful internal components. The Galaxy S6 is the more traditional of the two with its flat front display, but it also uses this metallic paint underneath on the front bezels. And the side is aluminum, and this is something that Samsung has not done before with a flagship device, and it instantly makes a huge difference in terms of the quality of the feel of the overall hardware here. And then Android 2 is also changed from previous versions of Samsung devices for the better. They took away a lot of their own flair and it's much closer to stock. And one of the biggest differences here that I'll show you is in settings. So you can see the settings menu, it's quite different from even on the Galaxy S5. And it's a lot easier to look at and it's a lot more in keeping with material design. Now you can see here, this is the black color and here we have the beige sort of tone and they all look great under light. This light blue one on the S6 is exclusive to the S6 versus the S6 Edge, but it's also very good looking. Here's the green, which is exclusive to the S6 Edge, and they just catch the light so well. And this is a process that Samsung developed in-house. So side by side, you can see they're very similar in terms of size and weight. Not much difference there between the S6 and the S6 Edge. But then compared to the previous generation, it's just night and day with the Galaxy S5 in terms of quality of construction, quality of materials, and even size. It's a little bit slimmer, a little bit less of a footprint. The Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge is very similar to the S6, but it offers this striking, unique design thanks to the curves on either side of the display. Now the display is one continuous panel, unlike on the Note 4 Edge, so the features that it actually offers are more limited, but it really does add to the overall look and feel of the device. Paired with this metal frame and that reflective metal coating underneath the glass, it's really, really a good combination. So Samsung still has had to do a protrusion for the camera module, but that's okay. When you have a device this thin, that's gonna be required if you want a good camera. But they've paid a lot of attention to the details like these metal buttons. And here you can see multi-window, which is Samsung's multitasking system in operation on the S6 Edge. So you can run one app on the right and one app on the left side by side. You can change the uh, size of each section. And here's a look too at the notification stream, which is Lollipop, as you can see. So Samsung is really proud of the camera here. And the camera has this tracking feature. So you can tap a subject and it'll automatically track it. And that's taken from their line of dedicated camera devices. You can also reposition some of the stock apps, resize them, and then move them around the screen. So here the dialer you can see is shrunk down, but it's still in operation. So Samsung has a number of case selections for both of these devices. And compared side by side, I'd say the Galaxy S6 Edge really, really takes the cake here. It's an amazingly designed device. And the wraparound display is not really just a gimmick. It really adds to the overall look and feel. And you can tell that this is the phone that they wanted to make. And while the S6 is also very nice, I think the S6 Edge is the best. Both great phones, but the S6 Edge just really takes the cake in terms of overall look and feel.